Exit the... What did I just see? Oh, it's weird. Oh, EX... Yeah, what the hell? Oh, no way. Cool. Yeah, I'm definitely going to play it fast forwarded. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Definitely going to do that. I'm definitely getting some fast forward in right now. Look how smooth it looks, though. Aya. Oh, yeah. We need to like actually farm too though like uh i think la we just beat the game last time i think we actually need to like farm like get her to level 70 or something crazy to be a big bucket list achievement when we finally get it done though I remember trying this when I was a little kid and I walked into the building and I was like fuck that dude I can't beat that so now that we're an adult we're going back in we're going in and we're going we're going strong come on Aya what the hell Oh yeah, the <laughs> I is a little off-centered in my game for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. Ew. Holy shit, dude. What the fuck? Um... Okay, that made a lot of sense. Yeah, so they do. They have more health than EX mode. That was a, a really good representation of that, actually. Yes. I like the way that, or the noise that she makes right here. Nah. <laughs> Get out of here, Maya.
<laughs> Did you watch it, Mark? How was that? Crazy, right? I'm okay at fighting games. I, I'm assuming you are too. We we like a lot of the same shit. It sounds like we're probably around the same age, but how did how did that video look, bro? Cause to me, it looked fucking hard. <laughs> Oh, dude, I fucking love Sekiro, dude. Um, me too. Me too, Bless. Uh, by a long shot. I, I've played Bloodborne enough. I really like the art style. I think the guns are cool. It's a smooth game. Uh, Sekiro is my fucking... Uh, definitely my favorite one too. I like that you can jump. Uh, it has just enough mechanics to to be able to indiv individualize your Sekiro with like his different arms and shit. Uh, it's, the art in that game is fucking cool and it still looks amazing, dude. I haven't beaten it though. I'm probably eight hours in or something. Yeah, I haven't beaten it yet. But I always go back to it. But I have awesome people that jump my stream that remind me that I have things to play that I need to go play. So I'll probably do that today actually. Like when I'm off stream. Sekiro's bad, bro. Sekiro's really tight. Actually, okay. I, I'm i tied. It, it's not a FromSoft game, um, but Sekiro and Neo, Neo 2, are really close for me. The, those Souls games, uh, I definitely like Neo as well. And it's multiplayer. Which is which is also really nice. Neo's the shit, bro. Theater key. So I think Armored Core has always been from Soft. Um, I, I think that's always been one of their games, man. Uh, but I'm, fuck, I, I don't think I can show you right now, but my entire living room arc, here, I'll send you something. Just if you want to, cool. If not, it's totally okay too. Um, I just shared a shit ton of pictures. Uh, I collect, I have an insane amount of like perfect grade Gundams. And uh, yeah, I just shared like a bunch of pictures. Um, hold on. I, I will have that game fucking day one, you guys. Absolutely. I used to play the old ones. I've played every single one of them growing up. I really have. I, uh, but yeah, if you want to join, Mark, you're more than welcome to. But we'll definitely, um... Definitely play fighting games every Friday night, and um, Armored Core, man. Uh, it's a really, really fast mech game, and it's also the most... You can look up old videos, too, if you want to, Bless, but it, it's one of the most customizable mech games ever. If you even like robots at all, like Gundam, it's a game for you. It's fast as fuck, usually. Uh, there is PvP. It, it can be team-based. Uh, it has a whole story mode. It's it's insane, bro. And it's not just like a oh you're a robot and you go around and like kill little things. There's like a like arena matches so you can like one v one people in their builds. It's fucking sick. So good. Yeah, I played every one of the old armored core games.
Oh, I'm I'm good with it, bro. Yeah, bring it. Ab absolutely. I I couldn't be there like more there for it. Zass, my guy. What are you doing, dude? Uh, we got to go down here. Yep, right here. There we go. Good job, Aya. Oh, fashion show. Yeah, 100%, dude. Like, oh, nice. I'll definitely uh, be on later to do that to Zess. Uh, it is. Uh, even, imagine now, if they do it the right way, like uh, Armored Core for like the 360, like Armored Core 4, is you could do anything that you want to do. I've never, like, even not playing the game, I would sit there for 10, 20 fucking hours just like making mechs, like all the time. Fucking the best thing. The best thing ever. My inventory is full. Oh my god. Yeah. How, uh, let me know how bad the weekly is, us. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. I, even if you have time, bless, I would, uh, yeah, just look up, like, old Armored Core, like, 5, 4 answer, like, gameplay or something, so you can see what it looks like, but, uh, really cool environments, like, uh, you can fight in the snow, or, like, over the ocean, or in the city, um, but, uh, yeah, you, you know, you can really equip the shit out of your mech, it's not just, like, you get one gun in each hand, like, my mech was set up, so... I had like these two huge machine guns in my hands and I'm a fucking weeb right and I love Devil May Cry my mech was set up so um, when I ran out of ammo and I had a couple different cool mechs too but when I ran out of ammo with like all of my main guns like my missile launchers and my huge machine guns and my sniper rifle or whatever else I had I could throw my guns off and I could pull two handguns like out of my hangers like spares and I would have my double handguns as backups and I fucking I went at people bro I went at people. <laughs> it really did. Um, but you could do shit like that too. We're like, oh fuck, I'm completely out of ammo. Like I'm gonna hide a couple of beam sabers in my shit. It's, it's like the the best Gundam ripoff ever. But it's not everything like looks like a Gundam too. Uh, the, some of them do look like like Mech Warrior stuff, and there's a really good variety. Oh, sorry, I uh, I asked how hard the weekly is. God, we just crushed Eve so bad. I'm sure we can do it.
Bien. Yeah, hell yeah. Have you uh, have you beat, beaten this game before, Mark? I'm sure I don't have to tell you this, but I I love me some Parasite Eve, bro. <laughs> I really do. Oh god, dude. Both of them, man. Both of the fucking soundtracks are incredible, dude. Dude, yeah, fuck. I mean, if, if I had a vote, if I ever got to influence everything that you would play, like, if you ever, if you do like the charm of older games, you might like RE2, you might like old RE3, but, uh, if, if you like RPGs, Parasite Eve 1 is an RPG, very much, very much so, even though, you know, you do have to dodge and run around and all that kind of shit. Um, but RE2, or sorry, Parasite Eve 2 is a Resident Evil clone with magic, and it's fucking incredible. Yeah, both of them are really good, but really, really different. <laughs> yep it's a I always tell people this but it's a straight up like buddy cop movie like her and Daniel have a fucking awesome relationship fucking NYPD in the in the 90s bro they couldn't have done better oh yeah especially for a game like this too like uh but they they tried really hard to explain it scientifically. But yeah, I, I, if you like know the stuff, I'm sorry. But yeah, dude, Parasite Eve was based off of a, a really popular Japanese novel, man. Um, it, the story is there, and it's good. It's really good. Yeah, but they they go into like the whole science part of it, where like uh, you know Aya can control mitochondria, mitochondria, and uh, she gets moved towards the end of the game called Liberate, where she like completely changes her form and she just teleports around the entire map and just smacks shit, bro. She basically turns into like a fucking like a Goku demon. It's really sick. But she she gets like insecure about her power, so they kind of dial it back in the second game. But by the end of the second game, you have like moves like Inferno and and they, where you're just they're huge on screen AOE attacks, even though she doesn't transform. It's really sick, man.
Oh yeah, and, and it, it really does. Haunt, yeah, absolutely it does. I love the story. I love Aya. I, I, my this is my favorite, even over Jill, even over Claire. Uh, Aya is my favorite female um, uh, protagonist ever. And even this too, I'll show you real quick. But um, so there's like a hundred different weapons in the game, and you can, you know, like okay, um, see all like these perks on the weapon. Like you can uh. You can break down other guns and take perks off of them, but it destroys the gun. And you can do the same thing with the stats, too. So over time, uh, you can pretty much... I made a Samurai Edge from Resident Evil, like with all these crazy perks. It's got acid rounds in it. Uh, it shoots shells like a shotgun instead. I can shoot three times. I get two turns, and I always get the first shot. I get to attack before the enemy every time. Like They, they did a really, really good job, bro, um, do, doing their thing. It, it's a great game. Um, let's see what I can do. God, I have so much shit. Oh, dude, there's so much stuff. I, like, don't even know what to do with it. It's crazy. Yeah, the story's awesome, though. I love this game to pieces. I think we're good. I think we're good to get out of here. Yep. There's my guy. There's Ben. Yeah, I uh, fuck. I I do think the the story in the first one is much better than the second one, just in my opinion. But I think the gameplay in the second one definitely beats the first one. Even though you can't really like upgrade your guns, uh, it's it's still really cool. It's not like Resident Evil where you beat the game and that's that's pretty much it. You know, um, there's there's definitely shit to do. And the second one, there's like five different modes. And uh, in this one, there's the whole building that you can complete after. Come on, I quit fucking around. Oh no way! Good shit. Right on his ass. What's the date today, man? Oh, we got a, like a week. We get a week and we get our uh, World War Z update. Be pretty cool, man. Excited. Be really cool if we get a new map too for uh for a horde mode. Zass, have you ever uh, played Destiny? I, I saw Kenji streaming it the other day. I've played a bunch of Destiny. Do you? You actually might like that game, man. Oh. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, okay. Yeah, I know, I know it's free to play. But I, re I really like the PvP Destiny. Oh, I think we're supposed to go to the museum if I remember right. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm surprised. I'm surprised you don't you don't like that game, Zess. It's definitely a lot of depth to Destiny.
Oh, you just don't play it anymore? Yeah, dude, do you do you still have it, like, on your PC? We could definitely play that sometime, too. I do like the PvP. Oh, gotcha, okay. It's a big game, too. It's, uh, like, 120 gigs or something on my PlayStation. It's crazy. Uh, okay. It's cross-play, too, which, which also makes it nice. God. It's like really bad right now. It's not even lined up at all. Oh, okay. I got you. I'm spamming it through it. I want to get it over. Yeah, you might have to, depending on how big it is. I'm excited, though. I want, I want to see what they do with the guns. I love World War Z, but it's like after you beat the game and you do horde mode and, and you level up your character, like, you know, what else do you do? Almost like the first real level. Yeah, I feel like it's really fucked up now. It's like out of alignment really bad. Good God. Dude, um, so where, uh, where are you from, Mark? And I do too. Even since I was a little kid, um, my, my parents actually got, my mom's a boxer. She got, yeah, I know Command and Conquer's ass. My mom bought me Parasite Eve. My mom uh, was going to do like her first boxing match. And uh, she's going out of town for a couple weeks, so she bought me this game, like, right, it came out right around Christmas. Um, so I played it, like, while she was out of town, and I fucking fell in love with it, dude. But I've always really liked the city and stuff, so I liked right off the back that it was in New York City, you know? It gave me, like, a, a sense of presence, like, I, I knew New York City after that. But what's really funny is, uh, it, the second game pretty much takes place, like, right around my hometown. I'm, uh... I grew up in, like, Palmdale, California, there's a small town called Mojave, like, right outside of Palmdale, and that's where the second game takes place. Middle of nowhere, it's at, like, a little shitty hotel in the middle of fucking nowhere, and somehow they pull it off in the middle of daylight making it a horror game, it's fucking incredible. So sick. Yeah, I've never, I know what those games are, I've just never played before Zess. I would like to play one of those games if it was like samurai themed. I wonder if they have a game like that. I do play one, it's a, I play, uh, there's a mech warrior version of it where you like control your mechs. Oh, Tex, my man, you're from America, okay. I had a feeling. My mom lives out like in uh, Bowie, Texas now. So I, yeah, that's awesome, man. I'm California, obviously. <laughs> um, but uh, I would love like a samurai version, but I do play a mech warrior version of a, uh, Kind of like Red Alert, and I play a Gundam version, too. <laughs> Fuck his ass, dude. Oh yeah, Mark, we, uh, we've we been playing that too, man. So we've been playing uh, a game... Uh, what the fuck? Why do I have this shitty gun with me? Yeah, we've been playing... Uh, and Oz has it too. Oz, Oz was checking it out a while back. I think I saw you on the stream too, but... Uh, what the 
the fuck? Uh, we've been playing World War Z, man. <laughs> yeah, sure they were, Mark. Um, but yeah, we've been playing World War Z. If you ever get bored, man, that game is really cheap and it's it's actually pretty fun. I was gonna hit up Oz this week and see if he wanted to play. Tragic boating accident. Checks out, bro. God, my game is not even like aligned at all anymore. Rest in peace, guns. Ooh, the gorillas. Won't get. Start to do some major damage over here. Our gun's getting pretty good. I'm trying to remember what gun I like upgraded. I think it's a Glock 18. Exactly. Um, you nailed it. So you pretty much run around. It's up to you to dodge until your AT bar is full, and then that's your turn. Kind of like old school, traditional, uh, like uh, Final Fantasy. Uh, my gun has uh, two slots on it, so when my bar fills up, I actually get two turns. Um, so my gun set up so I can fire three bullets per turn, so I could shoot up to six times if I wanted to. But it's kind of risky because I'm standing in one fucking spot. Um, but also. Um, you know, I could shoot like three shots and then heal or something else because technically I get two turns. Yeah, really, really good, uh, good perk I got for Briah. And, uh, my bullets like go through other enemies because I have shotgun rounds like attached to it. <laughs> Fucking so crazy, dude. Yeah, man, this this was like the first game that really, I think, had anything like this. Another really cool game you might like, too, is uh, Tales of Destiny. That game is also, like, um, really innovative. It's almost like Street Fighter, uh, but side-scrolling RPG. A haunt That's exactly what I did, dude. That's exactly what I did. I saw a spread shot in my shotgun, so I disassembled the shotgun, and I, I put the, the rounds onto my handgun best decision i've ever made bro but yeah tales of destiny is like a what the fuck god damn it uh tales of destiny is like you wander around a random battle occurs and then it pulls you into like a, a side by side of like a 4v1 or whatever it is of you fighting like a, an enemy and you can input commands like street fighter as you're fighting to like try and do damage and you can like open menus to cast spells and it's really sick dude the animation's cool but it's really really fun grind on that game for hours but that's that's another game that wasn't like anything else man yes exactly it's like i think the very first one uh, tales of destiny i think is the very first one bro also if you know anything about those games i just played tales of Arise also in the same series that game was fucking awesome too that's one of the best rpgs i've played in like last 10 years 
Tales of Arise was awesome. Yeah, have you uh, have you played those games? Yeah, the old I think the very first one, but it, it might be the best one. Vesperia is good too. Yeah, I'm I'm actually playing it right now. I'm all out of order, but yeah, I got Vesperia for like eight bucks. It was like fucking, it's amazing. Yo, my main. What's up, Lisa? What are you doing? Look how OP our handgun is. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah, I do. I, lo I love Final Fantasy too. I like all of them. For the most part. Oh, what's wrong? Yeah, my handgun's OP, dude. I have plus 200 attack. What happened, man? Come here, Maya. Don't you run away from me, Maya. I is like not even on the map right. Oh my god, dude. Aya, no. Where you going, girl? It's barely even in the game anymore. We are going the right way. A lot of junk. Polar bear. God. As far as I know, the the upgrades are pretty much infinite until you get to like 9999. I think you can go as high as you want to. Feeling good on a Wednesday.
flying right now. It's good. Come on, Aya. Oh, uh, Worm Boy. Yeah, we're doing good. We're going fast. Ever remember him dropping these either? What the hell? Why would you go up there, Aya? It's not a, not a good plan. God damn! Her handgun's OP! So good. A lot of a lot of work went into this OP-ness for sure. It's like my third run. Feeling good on a Wednesday. Oh I'm sorry I'm like fucking it up for you too, Mark, because I'm like playing in fast forward. I'm sorry, man. I'll throw you a bone though for sure. I'll definitely uh We'll definitely let you get some grooves in there. Yeah, the fight, the boss fight music is really sick too. But yeah, the the opening song and the boss fight music are fucking awesome. <laughs> it's like Mark's like, oh, it's so good. I'm like, oh yeah, fast forward. <laughs> yeah, the story's so good, man. I know that there's a. Actually, my, my buddy dude who was in here with you earlier, Mark, just telling me there's actually like uh, two Parasite Eve uh, novels out there. Yeah, so good, dude. Silent Hill's also got some really cool music, too. There's like random lo-fi in it. Feeling good on a Wednesday. And then, yeah, the police station fucking goes to shit really quick. This is Shiva. Yeah, hell yeah. Like, lo-fi before there was lo-fi. Yeah, sometimes when I go to bed, dude, I'll, I'll, like, listen to, like, Silent Hill music. There's, like, a... There's a really cool uh, YouTube video called uh, Silent Chill. Silent chill, and it's like a bunch of like dubstep, mellow, cool, silent hill music. It's all really good. Feeling good on a Wednesday. Junihiko Maeda. It's a scientist, Tommy. Yeah, so I have three on my my Ohi Mark playlist: the first Tales of Destiny, uh, Parasite Eve Two, and Resident Evil Three. Okay, fine, four and Ghostwire Tokyo. I like that game. <laughs> Like the only person I know that actually plays it, but I, I do like Ghostwire Tokyo too. If if I'm not streaming, that's that's what I've been playing lately. Feeling good on a Wednesday.
<laughs> so I never played Ghost Runner. I, I thought it looked really cool too until initially I thought Ghost Runner looked really cool. All the enemies die in like one hit and it's more of like a it's uh I think the enemies are just too papery. Um if there was more to the combat or something, I'd probably really be into it. I uh so I, I didn't try Ghost Runner, but I do like Ghost Wire. It's pretty cool. The combat gets stale after a couple hours of Ghost Wire too, but it's it's really fucking cool. To to play at one time is is pretty rad. Yeah, exactly. Uh, exactly what Ghost Runner is. You nailed it. I was trying to think of the game. It, it is basically Mirror's Edge. God damn. I wonder what we should get the armor up to, though. Alright, so we're going to have to go to war with Eve, so that means we need to break into a gun shop over here and get some shit. And then break into the pharmacy and get some medical supplies. I love this game. Oh no, it's locked. Real subtle, Daniel. Bullet cat, no cat. Yeah, I, I guess. Maybe the, maybe the Japanese didn't know. I don't know. There's the G nineteen. Yeah. And then you find all these little points. And yeah, actually, New York City, yeah. <laughs> we don't need any of this shit. Get rid of it. Just throwing handguns away. Alright, let's go. So we got everything here. is not even on the fucking map anymore. Could have sworn there was a revive or something juicy in here. Back to the police station or the museum. What the hell? I think we go to the museum yeah museum first yeah so after you beat the game this building opens up and it's crazy we're flying dude we're, we're going really fast
<laughs> yeah, dude. It's like four places to go. Now, I think by the end there's eight or nine, but that's pretty much it. Not a huge game. It's not super long, but I'll tell you what, dude, us playing it in two times speed really cuts it in half for sure. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, that would drive me crazy, man. Living in New York City, like, I, I heard nobody even has a car out there. It's, like, pointless. You just take a taxi everywhere. That would drive me nuts, bro. I'm just looking up this this boss right here. NYPD. So yeah, I, I always like this part too. Like, you're out having a good time trying to play detective and you get back to the fucking police station and everything's in shambles. Just reading about the boss right now so we can make sure we're doing this right, but people beat it. That means we can beat it too. Oh hell yeah, 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 it does. Yes it does. Fuck, man. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't played a... Uh... Oh, that sucks. You don't have a Switch, man. Yeah, because uh, the Zelda Breath of the Wild is fucking awesome, bro. It's so good. Definitely need to heal. We are almost dead.
I uh, opened the fucking door. Ah, uh, you wouldn't have regretted it, man. It's... I hate to be, like, so fucking... I, I really do like uh, Wind Waker, too. I, I like all the Zelda games, but Breath of the Wild's crazy, bro. Some really good mechanics in it. The second one's coming out, too. It'll it'll be crazy. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, you got gotta love the old school healing noise. Uh. Oh, we can't upgrade right now. make sure we have room because I know we're going to be getting some stuff right now. Can use that, get rid of the Zuki. There's a revive in there for later, which is really cool. Yeah, we should be good. Alright, here we go. Did, uh, did you ever have a PSP growing up, Mark? Uh. Energy shot. Cool. There's our, our fireball move right there. Oh yeah, that song's sick. <laughs> Dude, missed out, man. There's so many fucking good games. Uh, did you ever get to... Oh, yeah, you didn't have a PSP, man, so that means you didn't get to play Crisis Core or uh, Final Fantasy Dissidia. So many good games, man. That, that sucks. I just was downstairs. What the hell? Yeah, it, it really was. And not only that, too, but you could mod those things into anything, bro. My, my PSP was also a PS1, a Nintendo. It was fucking everything, dude. Yeah, I, I definitely, uh, growing up, man, you couldn't get infinite games from your parents and shit, but, uh. Please fuck. Dude, what the hell? Oh, buddy, I hope it's not bugged. But yeah, dude, my, my PSP was everything, dude. Not not only that, but the PSP games itself were so fucking easy to mod. There's a lot of good shit. Peace Walker, the fucking old Metal Gear game was sick, too. It was so much, so much fun stuff. Dude, what the hell, man? Hopefully all I had to do was talk to that lady. I'm very confused right now. They keep telling me to go downstairs. Yeah, hell yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know if you do like uh, Final Fantasy VII or not, but they did just put out that Crisis Core remake. It's pretty good. Some of the new voice acting is a little bit wonky, but that's okay. I'm so confused right now. Maybe you're talking to Warner. Oh, 
Oh, yep, that's exactly what we need to do. We're good now. Now we can go upstairs. Stop chasing the dog. That dog is not your friend, bro. He's trying to run away from you for a reason. Yeah, it's sad. The dog's just like trying to get away from him because the dog knows something's wrong. Yeah, it's rough. Fuckers. When is the last time we saved the game? Today has been a fucking bad day for me. We're on day three. Fucking A. That's a sign from God. Alright, that's a sign. That's a sign from God. Right there, Mark. Oh my God. We're, we're not like super far behind, but he, he's smiting me right now. He is definitely smiting me. Alright. Yep, I'm gonna try and get some productive shit done. I'll definitely jump on and play later. Um, yeah, thanks a lot for coming to hang out, Mark. Uh, good. I'm uh, I'm gonna jump off the stream right now, Zess. Um, if you want to play games in a little bit, dude, definitely hit me up. I'm uh, I'm down. I need to do the dailies and stuff. So uh, yeah, give me like 20 minutes, Zess, and I'll see what you're doing. But thanks again, guys. I cannot believe I I literally have gotten three fucking game overs today on shit that. You just shouldn't play games like I'm in the middle of the night. That's that's the the moral here. But uh, fuck, I cannot believe that I got three shot by the fucking. They comboed their spider webs together and killed me. It doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen. But uh, yeah, thanks again, guys. Mark, uh, I'll see you soon, man. Thanks again. It was ass. I'll see you in like twenty minutes. <laughs> You're stupid, dude.